Hey gang, Vince of Vince's Wood and Wonders here. Thanks so very much for stopping into the shop. So recently I was having a conversation with somebody and we were talking about where our inspiration to turn comes from. You know, some days you just, you don't feel quite as motivated as other days or certain times you just don't feel as motivated as other times to get out there and, and, and turn something. And, you know, you hear me say in these videos, it's just a great day. It's a great time to be out in the shop. And I really mean that. But even still, we all look and need inspiration from a multitude of different sources is where we pull it from. And uh, maybe it might be symposiums that we attend. It might be t having discussions with other turners. It might be attending our local club. Um... With all that said, one way that I get inspired is through videos, and I also get inspired through publications, books, and so forth. Um, you know, and and with that said, I get inspired by a by magazines, and one magazine in particular that always seemed to inspire me was a publication that was over in uh, Great Britain. And that publication is called Wood Turning, the world's leading magazine for wood turners. And, uh, you know, I had a subscription to this years ago. I was working with the late Mark Baker and uh, was able to get a subscription. And every subscription... The articles in this magazine seem to be uh, more in line with what I was interested in. And uh, time went by. Um, I let the subscription lapse and uh, I just re-upped the subscription. Um, and so, yeah, so I thought we would go ahead. Let's open this here now and uh, see what we can look forward to in this issue, in this magazine. Um, we've got Mr. Pat Carroll, his guest editor, introduces the issue. Uh, profiles Elizabeth Weber, turns a three-sided bowl. Um, we've got projects, we've got a Jahara platter, ring stand, uh, triple branch candlestick, salt pincher, egg cup, We've got some te technical articles on lamination, gluing tips, and final turning. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, the articles, the magazine itself, I guess their um, magazines and so forth tend to be a little bit larger than ours over here in the States. But, um, you know, the, the photographs are right on time. Um and look at that. <laughs> That's got plenty, <laughs> plenty of pictures. And pe trust me, people like me need pictures just as much as the writing. But uh, yeah, I mean, just outstanding. Um, it, it's great to see, you know, the lathe that they're using. Uh, looks like they're, this one, uh, there's a Vic Mark lathe. Um, we've got Mr. Uh, Steve Sinner's uh, tool rest in the picture nicely nicely done there um, but it's just interesting to see how they are getting things done and uh, yeah so anyway um, I'm going to take time out and spend a little time checking out my new wood turning magazine um, I believe that they run specials if you are interested, they have a digital format in which you can get a subscription digitally and just read it uh, uh, that way. Or if you want, if you're old like me and would like a hard copy, they'll also send you a copy. Um, and I believe that they run a special um, once a year, usually around May or June. Um, so, and I'm not going to quote the price because things change all the time and so forth, but, uh, you know, reach out to them. Uh, GHS Publications, I think, is what 
we are looking at actually here. Um, yeah, and uh, oh look, Robert Sorby um, is going to be the publication. So, uh, you know, if you have any questions or I can help you, um, you know, feel free to reach out to me. I'll, I'll be glad to answer any questions that you might have. But again, uh, you know, talking about inspiration, sometimes it's nice to have a publication hit the mailbox once a month to uh, help keep you inspired. So thanks again for checking in and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Sand them smooth. We'll see you.